Hello, welcome to Life Hacks. And the question is, what are your top seven rules of life? Number one, always be learning. What can I learn from this situation? When you come across a challenge, a problem, anything, you're like, what can I learn from this? What can I learn from this situation? What is life trying to teach me? Why is this person, this obstacle in my way? What is it trying to teach me? Always be learning. And number two, be conscious and aware as much as possible. Practice it daily and make your choices as conscious as possible. And meditation helps a lot with that. So what do I mean by that? So every I've been on lots of courses, retreats, spiritual things, everything. And all of them, they all, everything, everything I learned is telling me that I need to learn to live consciously, not unconsciously. I need to be more aware uh, and stay in awareness as much as possible. This is where mindfulness walking comes in, mindfulness eating, uh, mindfulness washing the dishes, mindfulness exercise, whatever it is, is doing it in the present moment and being 100% present and in that moment for that thing, whatever you're doing. So if you're washing the dishes, you are washing the dishes. You are 100% involved in washing those dishes and what that will do is that it will give meaning and purpose to whatever actions you're taking number three is have some structure in your life and this i'm retired and i didn't have structure for a few years and it really destroys you so have some structure in your life especially especially the first one to two hours after getting up Make sure, especially in that time, you have a strong routine that helps you with your life in the long term. Tony Robbins calls it the power of hour. So the first hour you get up, you've got it, boom, boom, whatever that is. Whether it's, whatever it's, whether it's having a drink of um, um, salty water, going and standing outside and watching the sun, uh, breath work, yoga, meditation, uh, reading a chapter a day, whatever, whatever the thing is, uh, doing exercises, whatever it is, make sure that the first one to two hours are heavily structured. Uh, you know exactly what you're doing. I'm doing X, Y, and Z. You know, like, so that's really important. And that will then give you structure for the rest of the day. And it'll give you a lot of wins right at the beginning of the day and prepare you. And also, if you're doing things like meditation or yoga or reading a book or whatever, it will improve you daily so that when you come into, so that in, the, in 30 days, 60 days, 90 days time, you're, um, you're a better human being. You're, you know, you're, you're gaining in life. And number four is don't eat processed junk foods. There's a reason they're called junk. It's because... They have no nutritional value. They damage you. They cause metabolic diseases. Uh, they give you brain fog. They'll make you depressed. They damage your brain. You don't want any of that. Uh, so don't eat processed junk foods. Just, just remove them from your life. I know at the beginning, because you've been eating junk for I was as well. I grew up eating junk food. And for most of my life, I ate junk food, a lot of it. And it did not put me in a good place. And as soon as I managed to get rid of the junk food, my life got better, so much better. And don't be pulled in by, oh, go on, have, have one uh, from your friends and friendly and re friends and relatives and family. Go on. You all you used to eat donuts. Go on, have a donut. Don't, don't, don't listen to them. Stick to your own guns. Number five is get human contact on a daily or weekly basis. Don't starve yourself of connection. That's so what give you mental health issues. You want to you wanna be in touch with humans, uh, ideally on a daily basis, uh, but it, even weekly. You know, you need several hugs a day. You need to be talking and interacting with people on a daily basis. So you need to structure your life that you are doing that. So that you, because it, that is as important as food. That is as important as breathing. As important as, you know, drinking water, this, all of that is really important. So do not neglect that. I have neglected that in the past, and the consequences have not been good. And I also know people who have neglected it. 
and I can see the results. I can see they're different. I can see they're suffering. It causes paranoia. If you're not in connection with people over time, it will call paranoia. You'll become extremely paranoid. It, you'll become distressed. It'll cause you all kinds of problems, like huge problems. So don't do it. The next number six is be nice whenever possible. Here's a hint. It's always possible. Yeah. There's no reason to be living in this world and being a dick. You know, just be be a good human being. Don't be a dick. Okay. Um, if you can help somebody, help somebody, but don't don't bring suffering to others. Unnecessary suffering that that you treat others as how you would like to be treated yourself. The last one is find out what your goals and purpose in life is and go for it with every thing you go. Don't listen to other people. Sit down, meditate a little bit, empty your mind and ask yourself the question, what is the purpose of my life? And then write it as if you know what the answer to that question is and then write it down. And maybe write it down, seven, three, four or five of them purposes in life and then pick one and then set goals to achieving that purpose and then go for it whatever that is and don't give a shit what other people think just go for your goals go for your fulfill your life purpose why you are on this planet fulfill that purpose and go for it go for it with everything you've got so that is my um Top seven rules of life at currently as it stands now. It may change in a month's time because I'm always evolving. I'm always growing. I'm always learning. Um, so in six months' time, they might be different. It, they might not be in a year's time. So I reserve the right to change them. All right. Enjoy.